Remember the old Reliance stands when they had the overhead light? You just unscrewed the light bulb, screwed a new one in, took you about 10 seconds to do it. Well, that's gone no longer. If you have one of the newer Reliance lamps like this with the quartz halogen bulb in it, you have to need tools and a little bit of expertise to change the bulb. So you'll need a screwdriver. And what you have to do, you get the light down here, sort of keep it at an angle like that. And you see this silver ring right here? It's called a retaining ring. That has to come off. See if I can't get that a little better. Zoom in on it here a little bit. Once you do that, once you release that, there's a glass plate behind it. And you have to take that glass plate out. Be careful because if it drops on the floor, it's going to shatter and break into a million pieces. Then you'll have to buy another one. You didn't have that on the old one. You just screwed the bulb in and unscrewed it. I don't know what, what their thinking was changing it over to this because Reliance really doesn't sell the bulbs. Normally it's a money operation, meaning that, well, we'll just sell bulbs, make more money. I would have just designed it as an LED, period, end of story. Then if something would have happened to it, it would have to go back to Reliance or the distributor for them to repair it. And you can buy these bulbs anywhere, uh, including us here at Lombard Instrument. It's a two-pronged parabolic bulb, as you'll see in a few minutes. Okay, so... What you're going to do is you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to push towards you and release this ring like that. And that ring will come out just like this. Okay? Put that aside. Now, talk about that glass plate. It's right here. And you can see it's loose. Oh, and there it goes. It just fell down. Luckily, I have a carpeted floor. Right there sort of frosted, opaque color. So you'll need to take that out. And you have to be very careful that when you take it out of there, when it's sitting in there like that, if you just sort of like grab it and let it flop into your hand, that's how to do that. So it's sitting in here like this after you take off the ring. And just take your screwdriver and flop it right into your hand like that. Set that aside. Now, that's the bulb. Let's get in here a little closer. That's the bulb. It's the parabolic style bulb. What you want to do is you want to grab it at like 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, thumb and four index finger, and pull straight out on it. And that's your bulb right there. Comes straight out. Okay. Set that aside. You can see you had two prongs down inside here. I'm going to zoom inside here. Can't quite get it to angle out. And that metal clip right there. So, now I'm zoomed in on tight. See if it'll focus. Focus there. It's about as close as I'm going to get. Okay. So what you do then is you take your new bulb. And you're going to put those two pins right into those two holes. And push it in place so that these two metal clips here and here clamp over the edge of the bulb there and there. So what we do is I'm going to zoom out and you can watch me do it. Line the two pins up into those holes and push it in. Now, before you go and put the cover plate back on it, turn on the lamp using the switch on this side right here and make sure it works. Ta-da! It works. 
This way, you'll know that you have it in there correctly and it's seated properly. Then, take your glass plate, right here, turn your lamp over a little bit so it's towards the floor, put your glass plate in, right into that second ridge right there. There's two ridges in there. Like that. Then take your retainer ring, right here, and put it one edge and put it underneath the ridge so it's touching the glass plate and just like bend it in and around till it snaps in place in all four of those spots. So it's like this. I got two of the spots already. The third one down here and the fourth one over here. And then it snaps in there don't quite have it, it's being a stubborn. Okay, I'm going to try it again. See? I've thumbed a million times and I can't seem to do it on the video. So let's try it one more time. Down in there like that. Push that one and that one. There it snapped in. There it snapped in. Okay? That's how you do that. It's not that easy. It's not that hard once you do it, know how to do it, but it's not that easy either. So, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial on how to change the Reliance overhead lamp, the new style lamps, using the quartz halogen bulb. Thank you for watching.